in this module we'll talk about patterns of inheritance that don't follow mendelian genetics so let's look at the first category incomplete dominance in this pattern of inheritance heterozygotes show an intermediate phenotype sort of like blending example given here is true breeding white flowers are crossed with true breeding red flowers the flowers here are snapdragons people here might be familiar with them uh, with the name kutta phool anyways when these two plants are crossed the f1 generation is pink so although the red is dominant but it is not completely dominant it is therefore called incomplete dominance it is giving the f1 generation of two breeding parents of different genotypes are giving an intermediate phenotype so is this blending it looks like blending but it is not exactly blending we can prove that if we take the heterozygotes and we cross them we mate them we get the following ratios so here you can see we have two pink flowers the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 so we have two pink flowers and one white flower and one red flower so the gene for the white flower when the f1 generation made it its gametes was again segregated it segregated that is the only reason we were able to get white flowers additionally we can do a test cross which we have talked about previously between a heterozygous pink flower from f1 generation right here with the homozygous white flower rr so we know if we cross heterozygotes with homozygous recessive 50% of the progeny will be heterozygous and 50% will be homozygous recessive that's exactly what we have so 50% of the flowers in a test cross were pink because they were heterozygotes and 50% of the flowers were white they were homozygous basically these flowers they do not follow the complete dominance therefore it is called the incomplete dominance now let's look at another mode in which genetic information is passed from one generation to next next i would like to give you an example of codominance in which both genes are dominant and they are fully expressed the classic example of codominance is blood groups these were identified blood groups were discovered by carl landsteiner in early 1900s before that attempts to transfuse blood from one patient to another were not always successful as we know today that blood groups if we transfuse blood which is not matching it can have serious consequences for the patients so he basically took the blood from patients a with the blood group a and he added the serum serum is basically blood without any cells so if we add plasma from b blood group into a blood this results in accumulation or clumping of the red blood cells similarly if a person with a blood group is exposed to plasma from b blood group that will also cause clumping of the red blood cells this is basically an example of codominance both a and b genes are expressed simultaneously in people who have a blood group they make both these a and b elements and display them on their surface that results in basically a phenomena called codominance next let me introduce you to another concept epistasis it is a phenomena in which effect of one gene is dependent on presence of one or more modified genes for example in mice the coat color the brown coat color is dominant over the black coat color however the ability of mice to produce color on their coat is dependent on another gene if that gene in if that gene let's call that a gene if a gene is present a gene capital a is the dominant phenotype is a dominant uh, form of the gene dominantly 
if two capital A's or capital A small a are present, then the mice will be able to produce color in the coat. If, however, our A gene is recessive homozygous, that is small a, small a, the mice will not be able to produce any color to begin with. So, ability of mice to produce color is not residing in just the what in the heterozygosity is not present in just the, the, the color gene, it is also dependent on gene that allows these mice to produce color in the first place. So, this phenomena is called epistasis. In next module, we will talk about uh, genetic experiments on flies.